So this happened uh, in northwest Rafa. We understand uh, it was in the, uh, uh, the, the Tal el Sultan camp. It's an area where there are many displaced people who have been moved uh, due to the war by uh, the Israeli military in many cases a number of times. Uh, we know that uh, it is an area of, of tents, of makeshift shelters uh, where people are staying and uh, we see uh, from images obtained by CNN uh, and also some horrific images uh, on uh, social media of the bodies and, and those injured being pulled uh, from burning tents. You can see firefighters, paramedics, the displaced, trying desperately to put uh, those flames out. So what we are hearing from the Palestinian side, the Gaza Ministry uh, of Health saying that uh, the majority of those injured and killed uh, were women and children, also saying that uh, there were no hospitals that had the capacity uh, to cope and uh, to, to help that number uh, of uh, injured. Uh, what we're hearing from the Israeli side is the Israeli military saying that they did uh, launch an airstrike. They targeted a Hamas compound saying that they killed two senior Hamas officials, uh, including a commander of uh, Hamas's leadership in the West Bank. Now, the IDF acknowledges uh, that there are reports of a fire that broke out. They say they see the reports as well of, uh, of, of the civilians that were harmed and they are reviewing the incident. Uh, but what we're seeing from the Palestinian side is, uh, is really uh, a devastating fire that's ripping through this area. We heard from the Gaza government um, media office that, that this was an area that was designated a safe area by the Israeli military and this is an area uh, that many people were told to uh, to head towards, to head further uh, west uh, away from where the Israeli military uh, was operating. So certainly uh, this does appear like a, a devastating event uh, that has happened in Rafah uh, at this point. Two different uh, narratives from the Israeli and the Palestinian side 